So it looks like Crossover is finally going to get Red Dead Redemption 2 support on the Apple Silicon Mac, at least at some point in the future. The performance of this game looks a little bit rocky, but it's definitely a start. And once Red Dead Redemption 2 does become playable, then it's very likely that it's going to be released first on the brand new Crossover preview. So just what is Crossover preview? If you didn't know already, Crossover itself is a method of running Windows games on a Mac that is getting better and better game compatibility every single day. And Crossover Preview represents the new bleeding edge of updates that aren't ready for the full stable release, but can be tested by current Crossover license holders. And the latest version of Crossover Preview that you can download right now contains the newest releases of Wine 9.16 and Molten VK 1.2.10. Although be aware that the current Crossover Preview uses D2D Metal 1.1 rather than the latest version 2. So in this video today, we're going to do a full tutorial on how to go ahead and sign up and install Crossover Preview on your Mac right now. There's also a big time limited discount for Crossover Plus, which I'll be showing you how to get today. And I'll also be testing out every single new game and feature from Crossover Preview, including some new surprise game compatibility not mentioned in the notes. So make sure to watch until the end. So the first thing that we're going to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. This contains the 25% discount, which is going to expire on September 27th. So make sure to check it out before it runs out. Every purchase made after clicking the link helps to support this channel and the videos that I make. If the coupon doesn't apply automatically, then just type in the coupon code try the edge. If you're watching this in the future and the promo code has expired, you can use this promo code instead, Apple Gaming Wiki New, and you can get a pretty substantial 20% discount anyway. So if you haven't signed up to Crossover Preview already, what I'm going to do is leave a link in the description for the Crossover Preview Center. And here it says that once you have an active Crossover license, then you're welcome to sign up to Crossover Preview. So just go ahead and make a purchase of the license and then just log in and then sign up to Crossover Preview. And then once you're logged in, you can press this button here in order to get to the Preview Center. And then you can find out more information about Crossover Preview here. There are lots of frequently asked questions that you'll get answers to here. But what we're going to do now is download Crossover Preview. So here we're going to be downloading the Mac version. So just expand this. And what we're going to do is grab the latest version. So you can see here Crossover Preview 2024-0913. Get the latest version download this. So next we're going to go to Finder and then within Downloads we'll have our Crossover Preview zip here which we're going to double click on and it's going to go ahead and expand. And now we have Crossover Preview. You can see the different icon here. I'm going to drag and drop this into the Applications folder and then within Applications I'm going to scroll down until we find Crossover Preview. We're going to go ahead and double click on this. Here we're going to press Open. So this is going to inherit your existing Crossover bottles and any existing Crossover settings. But if you've never installed Crossover before it'll basically ask you to log in with your Crossover username and password and then you'll be met with this installation screen. So I'll click the install button and then we're going to go ahead and install Steam as normal. Just click on this and then click install. And then this is going to automate the process of installing Steam. Here we're going to install the necessary fonts for Steam and then everything else should just happen automatically in the background. That's all working now. Now we have the installer for the Windows version of Steam. Just click next and then install this as normal. Let's finish. This is just downloading. And then once that's complete, you'll see the Steam window pop up here. We're just going to log in now. Here we're going to click allow. And now the Windows version of Steam is loading up. So one thing that's worth doing is closing Steam here. And then we're going to go ahead and tweak some of the graphic settings of the Steam bottle. So here, for example, I'm going to turn on D2D Metal. Then we're going to turn on M-Sync. I'm going to press reboot bottle and enable M-Sync. And then I'm going to load up Steam again. So here we can basically attempt to run many Windows games attached to our Steam library here. So I'm going to go ahead and test some games out. So the first game that we're looking at is Tekken 8. So this has been working on Crossover before. However, with Crossover Preview, we can now play online multiplayer. So this does work pretty well. Just be aware that there is going to be significant shader compilation stutter, and you should probably play a few games just to cache those shaders, because otherwise you're going to get significant stuttering, which is going to really harm your multiplayer performance. Obviously, that's the reason I'm getting destroyed in these online games, not because I'm terrible at Tekken 8. Next, we're looking at Elite Dangerous, the large open world space combat simulator with plenty of first person and also space combat sections in the game. So I believe that this used to work on earlier versions of Crossover, but some kind of update has broken support. But now we can play the game just fine on Crossover 24 Preview. The first person section seem to perform well on my MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. And also gameplay in space seems to work fine as well. Here, I'm also able to play with the controller, which is paired to macOS and is being picked up by the game just fine. The next up is Monster Hunter Rise. And this game seems to perform much better than Monster Hunter World, even though it's a much newer title. This is being run through the DirectX 12 backend through D3D Metal 1.1 and seems to be running fine on my MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. 
Next, we're looking at City Skyline 2. So running with this at 1080p on the lowest graphical preset. So this game doesn't really have a good reputation even on Windows PC. It's very poorly optimized. And even though we're basically running this on the fastest Mac that you can get, we're getting pretty poor frame rates. Hopefully this will improve in the future. It's great to see this working on crossover on a Mac anyway. So Here is Land is another game that Codeweaver say works on crossover 24 preview. This is a pretty basic 2D free to play online multiplayer game. Can't see any issues running this on a Mac. The next game that seems to work pretty well is Mortal Kombat 11. So this is basically the big fighting game which seems to have pretty decent performance on my Mac. However one disappointing thing is that even though I can get the benchmark to work and show that I should be able to play multiplayer games, as soon as I do start an online match I get kicked off due to desynchronization. So next we're looking at Age of Mythology Retold. However this wasn't on a list of games that co-weavers say now work on crossover preview, this was discovered by the community. So this game is basically the remaster of the original 2002 strategy game. Now it's outputting using DirectX 12, works great through Game Porting Toolkit 1.1 and Crossover Preview. The in-game benchmark for multiplayer play seems to work fine. We're getting a score of 1641. I didn't get a chance to actually play multiplayer, so let me know in the comments if you managed to get this to work through Crossover Preview. And lastly, we now have compatibility for two new stores. So GOG Galaxy is now available to download directly through Crossover. This gives us access to GOG's immense library of DRM-free Windows games without having to use the launcher called Heroic. Similarly, we can now get the Epic Game Store working as well. And although we can't get the full desktop version of Fortnite working on our Mac yet, we can play popular free-to-play online multiplayer titles like Rocket League. No third-party launchers are required. Everything can be played straight through crossover, no problems. Here I'm able to get straight into an online multiplayer match, playing with my controller and everything's working fine. So anyway, that is the current version of Crossover Preview. If you want to find out more about the latest compatibility, make sure to check out the Preview Center and also log your own reports if you find any new games that now work on Crossover. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.